open interval just means like that's not going to be excluded. So if we have our parent graph, and we just go ahead and sketch this again just real quick. So that's negative 1. Um, so that's going to go up to, sorry, 2, 0. At 1 is 2. And then at 2 is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oops, that's an open circle. OK, does everybody agree? And just kind of look at the difference of the two graphs, right? All right, so now we kind of have a little bit of an issue here. And I'll explain why um, later. Or we're going to learn why later. But what I want you guys just to look at this is kind of like think about like numbers. Now, now we're not really talking about limits, like where does the maximum or minimum approaching. We're actually talking about when I, when I wrote down the maximum, I said that is the absolute highest or the absolute lowest number. But it's a finite. It's finite. It's not. What is the limit approaching? It's what is the exact number. So when we're looking at this, we can see here that, oh, there's still a minimum here, right? So we can say still f has a um, minimum of f of 0 equal to 1 at x equals 0. But let's look at the max. This is kind of interesting. Because some of you guys might look at, well, 5 is not included, right? At, if we say um, f of 2, that does not exist, right? There's a hole there. doesn't exist. So what about if we said like f dying, you know, 1.9? You know, I don't know. We're going to get 4.9. I don't know. Something, right? It's a close to that. It's not even really that high. But, but what my point is, it doesn't really matter what this is. Even if I just say like some value c to give you 4.9, because 1.9 squared is not 4.9. But is that the highest value? Is 4.9 the, the highest value? Close to 5? Well, what about this? Is 4.99 higher? Yeah, what about that? Is that the highest value? And then you guys can quickly see I can keep on playing this game for a really, really long time, can I? And I can keep on adding 9s, and it's always going to get one more little step higher. So again, we're not approaching limits. right? If we were saying, hey, what's the limit? We'd say, hey, the limit is approaching 5. But that's not the question. We're saying, what is the numeric value that is the absolute highest on this graph? And we realize we actually can't calculate the absolute highest point. Would you guys agree? So so even though it kind of is contrary, Even though it doesn't kind of look right, because you're like, oh, it only goes so high. But we actually can't write a value. So we're going to say the graph has no absolute max. All right. 